Today I'm going to take you through an incredibly powerful feature of MT4 Next Gen. That's the Alarm Manager. Now the Alarm Manager is perhaps not the best name for this feature because it is actually so function rich uh, that it's much more than an Alarm Manager. To add the Alarm Manager to the chart we simply drag and drop, click OK, wait for it to load. Now the Alarm Manager is going to let you do three main things. That is get notifications about events on your account and events that occur in the market. Take automatic actions when events occur and send automatic updates to your followers via Twitter, email or SMS. So it's basically a set of building blocks which you can use to create a completely personalized and automated trading companion. You can use the Alarm Manager to do as an example a number of things you can warn you on your screen or by email or SMS if your margin exceeds a certain percentage close losing positions if you have a drawdown send messages to followers on Twitter uh, you can automatically place orders to close positions at a particular time such as 2 p.m. or in 30 minutes time you can warn yourself if you have open positions without a stop loss you can even send yourself a message congratulating yourself if you have three consecutive winning trades. You can send yourself a message to remind you to stop trading if you have four consecutive losing trades. So really you get to take all the different elements that you have in your trading plan uh, that are about managing your trading system and automate them using the Alarm Manager. Okay, so how it actually works, you can see here we have a few different sections to the Alarm Manager, Account Alarms, News Alarms, Price Alarms and Trade Activity Alarms. They're essentially the four different types of alarms we can use. To add an Account Alarm you click plus and you can see here there's a variety of different criteria. So here's some of the price alarms up the top. So if it breaks out above a certain bar, um, you can look at the set like looking at setting alarms on account value, balance changes, can number of consecutive winners, losers, win loss ratios, yep. the trade activity alarms, new position open, new position close, position floating, P and L level, positions without a stop loss. You can set time alarms, time of the day or a countdown. You have news alarms which are very useful and sentiment alarms and then you have technical indicators so you can actually set alerts to place trades or to do the action that you choose based on a moving average or a technical indicator doing something okay so let's just go in and have a, a deep dive into a couple of these alarms so you can see how it works so price level alarm you can see you add the parameters at the top you set up an auto reset so if you want the alarm to go off and then once say 10 minutes later you want the alarm to reset itself you can just do that here you have the group so in the page here these are the different groups so you can assign alarm to go under each group which just helps you manage it a bit more effectively and in more here you can add some more styling to the alarm and you can add a fixed caption so if you want to say for example euro crosses over support we can add that there we add the action play a sound email and twitter close positions place order miscellaneous or alarm manager actions here so I'm just going to set it to play a sound, we add that action, we click save, and you can see here I've got my new alert. Right, so I'm just going to go into a news alarm now. So if we look at the news alarms, we can look at the economic calendar. You can see here you can set alarms based on news priority. So high only events, it's going to alert you 10 minutes before the event. You can choose whether your news provider is Forex Factory or Daily FX. And again you have the same reset criteria here. The actions, play a sound 10 minutes before all high priority news events. Yep, and save. And we have that here coming into our 
our news alarms you can see we already had one previously if we want to delete it we can just go in and click delete okay right so we then here a few more features on this the screen here so you can click on alert go in and edit it you can reset the alert so if the alarm is gone off and you want to reset it we've reset the alert there sometimes it's not going to let you reset because it might say this alarm cannot be reset because it will go off automatically again okay um, and finally when you go into an alarm here I'm just going to show you through setting up a technical indicator you can see here we have the symbol so we choose the symbol from our list the time frame the moving average param um, parameters the bar whether you're using close medium or high low close uh, bar shift and the different parameters and we can set the action just be just note that this alarm is going to go off it's not based on the actual chart itself it's going to go off based on the criteria you set up here okay you can make that the same as the chart but you might not necessarily want to play a sound this time I'm going to close everything and click save and our new alert or alarm is set up here okay so that's the AxiTrader MT4 next gen alarm manager